Get some more at the Black Michael Wilbon. D Mac is here. What it do, what it do, it's G Jones. And this is the funky militant Hadar, and we are the, the garage, garage department. And we want you to check us out. Yes, it be. It's Sunday night. You know what that means. Back again. Welcome to the garage apartment. Sports talk with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant of Dar Jones. We back in here. We got the tribe in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do? That boy killed me with that yeah, yeah. What do? do? Like he That's ice cube. Yeah, yeah. That boy like he ice cube, boy. Hey. Ah, tell him who you are. That boy, <laughs> Maul Mizzle. That boy, d Max from the Northwest Side. Wow. That threw me up. We said claim that was it. We, we claim the set. All right. Hey, and it's Amar from the Southwest Side. Hello, man. And I'm Botany Big Shotting right now. Dude. I know, I know. Hello, Tell man. Tell everybody. Botany New Resident right here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes, indeed. And we are here each and every Sunday from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to check us out. Follow our social media. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we are also on SoundCloud. There you go. Not Spotify. Not Spotify. Yeah. We are on SoundCloud. Don't call Live. us no lie. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I was, I was mistaken. It happens from time to it time. It does. Not so, a sin. fellas. Man, shout out to everybody, though. All our YouTube viewers. Our 92kills.com listeners. Facebook Live watches, Instagram Live watches. What it do, y'all? Yeah, what well, Instagram people? We've been temporarily suspended. But oh man, well check us out 92kills.com. I mean, you can still follow us. Well, we no, 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 you can still follow us, but you we won't may be not go live, live for a little minute. <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> hey, hey, go to YouTube. Yeah, I guess we had the volume Ooh. turned up a little loud last night <laughs> on the on the fight. Hey, hey, we was all the way live last night. Yeah, but man. we paid. For, we bought the fight. <laughs> yes, we did. So, we might well get into it. For those of you who don't know, it is what time is it? It is 6:02 Central Standard Time. So, if those of you who don't know, we now have one half of the competitors in the Super Bowl. We have the NFC representative. That's right, the the Los Angeles Rams. Los Man. Angeles Rams are rep are are champions Dobax. of the NFC. Yeah. And we'll be representing, or well, we'll be representatives <laughs> or participants. I'm trying to use my big words. Okay. Use participants, yeah, I'm trying to use that education that I'm still paying for. Uh-huh. Participants in Super Bowl 53. Yeah. So now. Robbery. Yeah, I, w- I was going to say, I don't know how it many of y'all actually grand saw the game. Grand and, and, you know, they say games are not decided by one call. But this call was man, pretty. Man, uh, call, yeah. <laughs> this it's call was pretty major, man. It, it, it was about as big as the call could get, wasn't it? The, the refs missed a blatant, oh. a blatant well, pass interference that would have extended New Orleans' it would've, drive. It would have given the first and down. It would have given them the out. first down. Would have more than likely s- resolved the game. Right. But instead, <laughs> New Orleans had to settle for a field goal. That wasn't the only one, though. Drew Brees got hit in the face on the interception in overtime. I see. I didn't get a chance to see that. And uh, I saw the back judge, and he was doing what we call in the referee world, ball watching. (laughs) He was not paying attention. Ball watching is no good. Ball watching. He was not paying attention to his primary. Hey, that's payback. And he was watching the ball. Payback for my boy Brett Favre. Oh, Oh Oh my God. How does everything (laughs) result back to Green Bay with you, dude? Actually, that was Minnesota. He was with Minnesota that time. Either okay, way. well, either so way, it was you should have been done with him at that point anyway. Oh, I, I, man. I, we all were. Hey, I'm still a Brett Favre fan. Yeah, a reporter yeah. was. That 
the yeah. way. Yeah, because check it out. Check out what Gamal uh, uh, said uh, before we went on air, before you two uh, arrived. He said, uh, well, Drew Brees is Brett Favre. He's Brett Favre. Drew Brees oh. is nothing like <laughs> Brett Favre. Why <laughs> not? Explain the way. Uh, no, 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 no. The burden of proof is on Favre. you. Explain to me how Drew Brees is like Brett Favre, please. He's only got one Super Bowl. He will forever have one Super Bowl. He's not going back. He's not making it to uh, a Super Bowl. Windows closed. That's the only thing that makes him like he Brett Favre? He has the most passing yards. That was Brett Favre. I was going to say, Brett Favre yeah, also had the had most, most interceptions. <laughs> I mean, Brett Favre also threw the ball down the field. Uh, yeah. Drew Brees threw the ball no. down the field. No, no, he That's what appalled me. No, 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 he does That's not. what he told. That was his no, point. No, he does not. No, that was his point. No, he doesn't. Brett Favre threw the ball down field. No, he doesn't. And Drew Brees doesn't. No, it does Ten yards is not down the field. How do you have the most passing yards? He would have to wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute, because I need him to make this. I, I really do. Uh, what he say in the movie, Denzel say, explain it to me like I'm a two-year-old. What's in <laughs> I need you to make this plain to in me. In this game, what, what was his longest throw in this game? Honestly, I don't know. I've been bi a bit busy it today, man. I, bet, I didn't get to see all over, of the game. Bet it wasn't over 20 yards. No, but you're yeah. saying Drew Brees does not throw the – now, I will say, didn't he throw the ball down the field that got them into a uh, field goal position? Uh -huh. the, the one that they, they, they took the lead on? Wasn't that a throw down the field? Like 17, 20 yards on that one. The time. one that got the. Who, oh, so who 20 did he yards hit? Is down the field now? I'm just saying. Yeah, I it was Ted again. 20 yards is down the field. That's right, now. that long one to Ted again. That was about 45. Technically, yes, a pass over 20 yards is down the field. Okay, so one. Sorry, okay. One, one pass out of all his passes. The Saints he's aren't a dink and dump team, though, man. They're a dink they and throw dump the team. ball down Wait, the field. I, I They're not a check Who has the most team. catches on in this game? Who has the most catches on? Well, besides, who's the second? Because I'll get Michael Tom. Uh, what is well, that's name? a whole other issue. Whether who's they the throw second, the ball downfield. Who's or the not. second? Who's the second leading receiver? Probably Alvin uh, on, on New Orleans team. Yeah. Probably Alvin Kamara. Yeah. Second lead. Alvin Kamara. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he goes downfield. Nah, he, he does. Yes, go. He, he runs does. wheel routes. He after does. no, he goes down the field after the ball's thrown three yards. Last week he caught Kamara like a forty-yard touchdown. Kamara had Wait. eleven receptions for ninety-six field. yards. He led. Yeah. That's Ted Ginn had That's three nine for yards fifty-eight. Average twenty yards a catch. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean he had one catch for forty-three that means yards. Nothing. They also I'm, have I'm metrics on how that far though. that ball went. Kamara had a longer twenty-one. Ginn had a longer forty-three. Michael Thomas had a longer 19. Jay Hill had a longer 24. He's throwing the ball. Yeah, and, and he throws the ball. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. But wait, hold on. Let's Stop. not get bogged down in this. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, we got to, though. We got, because it has been thrown out there. So we got to knock it out the park. You you throw it over the plate. I got to swing at it. Now, Jerry Goff on the other hand. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Hmm. He's chunking that bad boy. He got three people with a long of 40 up. But wait. <laughs> yeah. but wait. Some of those are after the kick. You got to also, you got to put, you got to put, because nah, you got, cause you got man, to put the no. game in context. No, you don't. No, if I'm don't, losing, no. yes, I got to throw down no. the field. Man, no. But no. you're not, but you can't sit here and Your say. Offense. <laughs> Your you offense. You can't sit here not. and say that nope. Drew Brees is Tom Brady. Tom I didn't Brady say that. Dinks. I said Drew Brees is Brett Favre. But then you said he's not Brett Favre because Brett no, Favre throws the down, the down the field. And I'm like, that's, that's the absurd. Only, and that's the only uh, distinction Man, that Reese I made. Drew Brees has been throwing the ball down the field all season. Uh, his no, whole no. career. Not his whole career. He yes. threw the ball to one person all season. Who was that? Michael Thomas? Yes. Yeah, so you're saying everything that Michael Thomas has been has been pitch and catch? It's been him catching the ball and running? No, not everything. That's what I'm saying. Not, but I didn't say every single pass. Michael Thomas had had how many 200-yard games this season? One. Uh, no, he hasn't. He's one. had at least two. No, one. Didn't he have one in the playoffs last week? No, he had 175 yeah, yards, he, he didn't he? Almost, and yeah. 19 catches. He was the only one catching the ball. Yeah. I mean, but that's – a lot of teams you take do what that. the defense give you, man. But no, but <laughs> a lot of teams do that. No, but a lot of teams you do have that. to. Yes, and if that is only three yards a pass, hey, you dink and dunk. Hey, because the first off, let's make it very clear. The whole premise on offense is to get first downs. Mm -hmm. Now, after you get first downs, you touchdowns. continue to get first downs until you get a touchdown. Yeah, maybe in like 1947. No, no, no. Your, job, if your job is, is to get first downs because if you don't get first downs, you get the ball back. No, if the, you the, don't get touchdowns, you don't win. The object That's is to too. keep on matriculating the ball down the field. Keep matriculating the ball down the field, boys. Exactly. Exactly.
exactly. keep on matriculating and the ball. He wasn't throwing the ball neither. Anyway. <laughs> Brett Favre. Uh, uh, anyway, we yeah, digress. Anyway, yeah, uh, we digress. Yeah. Brett Favre, stop it. Drew Brees was never a pain killer addict either. But anyway, <laughs> so how do, the, how do you know? How do you know? That the we missed know penalty of, that occurred today allowed the Saints. How do you know? Or allowed the Rams <laughs> to get the ball back. He did yes. have a separated shoulder. Allowed the uh, well, actually, it it made it it caused New Orleans to settle for a field goal rather than running the time down. Mm -hmm. Well, they only scored. They were up what thirteen. They were up 13 nothing at, 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 at halftime. Yeah, and then this they is left true. the they after, being, after being up 13 They've only scored 13 10 nothing. points afterwards. Yeah. So, That's true. Yeah. The offense is definitely uh So they sputtered. Sputtered the last couple of weeks. They, they throw the ball too much. Is the problem? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they believe the too much in this. Because did you see that last drive, the one that went right after the long play when he gets inside yes. the red zone, yes. and then you start throwing the ball? Why are you ball? throwing the ball? Like you don't have Kamara well, and and Ingram? Really? I know. Really? You got Ingram? Is Ingram really your? I know yes, Ingram. You do. He he he, Stop he gives Stop you it. at least three yards. Ingram's to gonna carry. give you two. So three if yards. we run the ball three times, we get at least nine yards, I'll and we would have been able to take at least fifty-five seconds off the off clock. The clock. How many, how many yards? The field goal. How many yards? Too much time. This game. He's Running. not listen. Ingram, who knows and who can't? Ingram is not because <laughs> that's not what we're saying. We're <laughs> yeah, not saying not. he's Adrian Peterson. No, no we're you're not saying, saying he can get him three yards. Yes. Apparently, he you can. the team in rushing with a solid 31 yards. <laughs> hey, that's a solid. You heard what he said. A solid <laughs> on how many carries? Yards. Though? How many carries? On how many carries? 30 Nine carries. carries exactly. He didn't yards, carry the ball enough. Yeah, he didn't four, run the ball at all. Four, uh, how, how many times did Kamara run the ball? How many Kamara? Oh, not at all. Kamara only ran at eight for 15. So I mean, between two running backs, he ran the ball 17 times. Yeah. How does Alvin Kamara only run the but ball? Kamara caught eleven passes. Exactly, he, he almost caught more passes than he ran. Well, he, he caught did. more passes than he ran the yes, ball. Yes, he did. That's Sean that's, Payton, that's man. That's throwing the ball too much. Because Gamal yeah. also said, "Come on to Houston," even though you know we know Bill O'Brien is never gonna be fired. Five year contract. At least, at least Sean, I know Sean but, Payton ain't scared though. Sean no, Payton no, he's will not. He, but that's Bill O'Brien is scary. Yes, no, but but, but I, that is asinine to have a running back no. like Alvin Kamara. And you give him the ball eight times What's in the damn play. Camera, Ka camera Kamara, <laughs> I don't camera. know. It depends. I, I don't agree know. with you 100. But I watch it, it, in the in the game. Uh, Sean McVay, who is poster. everybody's best coach now, he had the fourth and what fourth and one at the goal line when they were down three. He could have went for the touchdown, but he went for the three points and almost if they would have caught that pass interference, he would have never seen the ball again and would have lost the game behind not going for. Um, not going for the touchdown. No, no, wait, 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 wait. But no, no, no. Uh, but there's a difference between there's a difference between situation calls right. and being scared. But McVeigh, in I'll that give case, you this. being on the road in a playoff game where the Super Bowl is on the line, you kick the field goal. Hey, I don't I know. I got Todd Gurley. I'm oh, not. you're your eye. Oh, you fall. Don't he run just out. threw the don't pick in the end. Yeah, yeah you're, a, you're a linebacker. Tom Brady. I thought he was going to return the ball 105 yards. Uh, I'm Brady. sorry. We're sorry. I'm sorry. That was Tom Brady throwing picks in the end zone. Yeah. Yes, we also have the Kansas City That's Patriots big, game on. But now, go oh, back, back to what you were saying, come on. Uh, Sean McVay, this is why he's smart. In the first, <laughs> in the first half, mm -hmm. he saw Todd Gurley was not doing, was not doing it, okay. and he put C.J. Anderson in, okay. and ran the ball. Okay, an even fatter boy that you can put right in there <laughs> on mean, that hey, one yard line. But but he knew now. He I knew that, that he was back. aggressive. He knew he was aggressive running the ball. Okay. So and I, you know what? I go wait a minute because I, it made me laugh today because I was watching C.J. Anderson and it made me think about what y'all said. I said C.J. Anderson is fat. <laughs> Jerome Bettis is not. <laughs> Jerome Bettis was bigger than C.J. Anderson. <laughs> bigger no, than especially especially Jerome Super Bowl Bettis, year. I mean, especially Super Bowl year. Oh, stop it. He was humongous. C.J. Anderson a looked like he truly squ squoles. I don't yeah, even I know, know if that's a word. Squoles yeah, into that jersey. Hey, but did you hear? I know, I know. When your belly is hanging over your, <laughs> did you, you hear got number why? 35 and your belly's <laughs> hanging over your belt, that ain't right. <laughs> did you hear why, though? Not why? on number 35. Did you hear why he's that big? Why is he that big? His significant other is pregnant. Okay. Uh, and so he put on the weight because she's big. So? Yeah, you put on 10 pounds. He's a professional it? athlete. I'm going to say, that's when you say, listen, babe, I support you 100%. Hey. But in order for me to get this bag, because that's what women want, mm -hmm. they want you to get that bag, mm -hmm. 
I bet you. I gotta get. I gotta come in here and say. I bet you yeah. nobody. I bet you from no nobody from the Saints wanted to tackle him today. I mean nobody. But yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. So you say, okay, okay. You say Ty Gurley wasn't doing it. He wasn't. Ty Gurley had four rushes. Exactly. He wasn't doing it. He only Dude. ran the ball four, four times. times. <laughs> because four, he ran the time he was running the ball, he was getting stopped in the backfield. See, and this is my. Okay, okay. Ty Gurley ran it four times for ten yards. CJ Anderson ran it sixteen times. For 44 yards. Yeah. Those were productive 44 the yards. The averages are the exact same. Yeah. But it, and yeah. Gurley got the TD. Yeah. Because that's Gurley. But no, but, but, that's but still you have, star. That's you still have to star. feed your running back the ball. Thank you. I, like Four times can't be nothing. This kills me about modern football. I, I don't understand these. It's, it's, it's still a very simple game. It it's is. blocking, tackling. If you can control the possession. If you yeah. can control the time possession. You control, control the, the game. Ball. Okay. And I go back to. Uh, what was it? It was Daryl K. Royal. Uh, <laughs> wow, and with the yeah, no, 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 no. My, I, my high school coach, we didn't throw the ball a lot, so <laughs> he would <laughs> <laughs> justify <laughs> that by <laughs> quoting Daryl Royal, even though he was an A&M man. Oh, but he would wow, quote. Wow, that's real. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but <laughs> Daryl K. Royal said when you throw the ball, you have one of three things. No, no, no. The only three things can happen, and two of them are bad. That's true. Right? That's so true. If you don't Interception. Have incomplete. Incomplete. I or mean, completion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't nothing else going to happen. Yeah. Incompletion stops nah, the clock. You could fumble the ball. But, the, but it goes back to the point, though. You got to run the ball for this example right here. Mm -hmm. New Orleans, delayed that they, they never trailed in the game until that last field goal. Mm -hmm. They If they had run the ball in control, do you really time trust, of possession. Do you really trust they running backs, though? Yes. Yes. No, you trust Alvin Kamara. I trust you Ingram no, to you get don't. two, you three yards in the clock. You don't say tandem. He's don't. going to run time off the clock. Them together are outstanding. No, you don't trust Alvin Kamara with a sprinkle of Ingram. They're outstanding. No, yes. no, no. If Sounds we go, like a lot if we of go three and out, <laughs> I, check I, it out. I, check I, it out. I, I, I think he just hey. got issues with 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 the line. But check it out. Check it out. Just think about. I don't shy away from it. He's trash, yo. Yeah, but if we go three and out, right? And we can run two, three minutes off the clock. That's pretty good. And then we sit there and punt, you know? Especially when it's three minutes left in the game. Yes. Yes. That's the thing. See, they went to try to kill the game on that pass to get that pass interference. Well, not to get it, but where they didn't get the pass interference. That mm -hmm. play right there was what they called in order to secure the first down right. and to win the game. Mm -hmm. When they could have ran it probably a few plays They shouldn't earlier. have thrown it on that first down. Got the first that was down dumb. and then they trying to come right, yeah. off the clock, right? Because the dude hit it with a fifty. Uh huh. Because okay, 57. yeah, they get down there. That's okay, yeah. 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 I've yeah. literally seen the Saints go three and out and run three seconds off the clock. Yeah, it's bang, bang, See, that's bang. absurd. <laughs> that's that's crazy. absurd. You've seen the absurd. Texans do that too. Yeah, right? you've seen the Texans do that as a well. lot, a lot. Play action, bing. <laughs> handoff. No, it's not even handoff. It's yeah, play action. Play action, drop back. Wide receiver and screen. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> deep pass to Hopkins. But no, but yeah. Can't see, punt it again? Okay, now yeah. you're going to need to score, yeah. Mahomes. Yeah, so the Rams are your uh, are your NFC representative, and I, I'm pretty sure the Patriots are going to be your AFC representative. It appears I don't know, they're man. winning 7 0 right now. So I don't know, though. They scored Update on the first purposes. drive through an uh, interception in the red zone on, on the, the second, second drive. So yeah. And, and and there's another instance where you just hand the ball off to Sony Michelle, but yeah, but you want to you want to make Brady the 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 Superman. No, though. these coaches are too damn smart. We call them geniuses, and they believe it, <laughs> and they overthink themselves. And none of them get and none of them get a P Nobel Peace Prize for football. Right, you're sitting there watching the game, and you're like, why? What are you doing? Just run the ball, like. Uh, but then you know they love to say we're just fans. We don't know enough. Man, please, I know enough to. <laughs> I play enough Madden. Like uh, <laughs> Jason Whitlock, who happens to be on the other screen. Uh, I remember watching he and Roland Martin, which was actually a very wow. I would like to interesting look that interview. Up. Yeah. yeah, they yeah, were it interviewing. It, well, Roland Martin was interviewing him. Yeah, I saw that. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. And so Roland Martin was talking about Martin. how how it, it's ridiculous that Kaepernick didn't have a job versus, and right. he started naming all the trash quarterbacks. Uh -huh. And Jason Whitlock was like. You're speaking like a fan. You don't know anything about football. And I was like, what? Like, and, and, and Roland Martin said, 
I can recognize trash. <laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> like, I know trash is Man, trash. He's he he like McPherson. Is. Isn't that his name? Not McPherson. What's Mc the dude? McPherson? What's the dude in Buffalo that's just Josh interception Allen. machine? Oh, no, 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 no. Not oh, Josh uh, Allen. Um, the God. other one. What, oh, the dude? The interception machine. I can't think of that. Peterson. Guy. Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. Peterson. Nathan uh, Peterson. Peterson. And the he worst quarterback I've who, ever seen who, in my life. Who who signed a reserve contract for Oakland? For Peter, man. Did he really Oakland sign him? Yeah. Peter. Man. Man. Uh, How? Gruden. Gruden loves that dude. Oh, does yeah, he? he did. Yeah. Yeah. Did he do a quarterback camp with him? Uh, I don't know, but he loves that dude. I feel sorry for him. I don't see how you could. <laughs> that, that dude was trash. He's probably gonna start over Derek Carr. Next but, year, but 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 you know, Jason Whitlock did block for Jeff George in college. <laughs> yeah, I said it, but Ball State or Ball something State, like that. Yeah. And now he's a uh, an aficionado. Uh huh. No, now he's wearing a headband with a wig on. No, nah, uh, he's uh he's being a uh, Mahomes. Yeah, That's the Mahomes hair. Mahomes, Mahomes, excuse me, Mahomes. Mahomes. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm pretty sure the Patriots gonna win this now. I hope they do not, though. Yeah, I want to see somebody different, man. I'm tired of the. I'm tired of the. You got somebody different. You got the Los Angeles. No, Rams. I yes, need to see two I different see teams. Another different team. On I need the to other see two side. different teams. I'm tired of this this patriotic narrative that we're trying to put in football. Everybody talk about uh, let's not put politics in our football, but the Patriots yeah. are very po- political. Hold on, you think that's why? The <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, that wait, wait. So you think they? Wait, c- go ahead, elaborate. Yeah, since please. they, Build they haven't, that. they have been in the Super Bowl since what nine eleven? Eight straight AFC Conference Championship games since nine eleven. So you think LeBron that's LeBron Okay, so you think that's rigged? <laughs> that's Very my question. So. You think that's no. rigged? First off, no. they're in a trash division. That they are. They, yeah. They 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 win Which by is default. Another reason for it not to be rigged. They get like uh. They automatically get a buy. They automatically get a buy. Being they in do. that division. But so do the Texans. If it wasn't for the Patriots, the Texans would automatically get a buy. No, because the Texans don't win all they've won the five. The Texans have dominated they've won five. recently and but whoever wins our division, our division is usually the second worst division in the league. Well before. the problem with the Texans is they don't win the games they have to win outside They'll of the beat division. the Patriots. Okay, the Patriots win the games they have to win outside their division. Plus they get the buy. And plus that's the why division. they're 13 and, and 3. They end up going <laughs> plus to the, the division. Well, plus the Super division, Bowl. but you but, but but they win the games outside the division. 13 and 3, 14 and 2. I Th- mean, those kinds of records. Have you this is also they don't ever get a hard schedule. You don't they ever see first place they schedule, a first place schedule, but their division is the problem. You've bro. never seen you never see the Patriots play Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. You've never see uh the Patriots play I'm sure. Seattle in Seattle. You've I'm never sure. no, you've never seen it. You've I don't never know, I don't seen follow them that they closely have a enough. First place schedule, but but like with the, the first place schedule, schedule I'm sure. Yeah. What is first place though? They're supposed to in get whose that? eyes? First I mean, place for who? In, in the NFL, NFL it's literally eyes. in who's first place? Yeah. Is it's literally the Super Bowl where it gets the hardest your, schedule the next year? But I mean, they don't get a first place every year. Every year they don't get a first place. Well, every year they win the Super Bowl, they do. Oh, you talking about the Patriots? The Patriots yes. with the first they place. They don't schedule. get a first place sh- every year. They get a last place schedule well, I mean, off they, and on. They, you, I mean, they right. divisions. Like you said, they, they pair the divisions mm-hmm. and they do, yes, when you make the Super Bowl, they do give you the tops. Right. On, like, the road. That, right. that that would be the difference with a first place and a second yeah, place. But it's schedule. also based But then you playing each other twice uh-huh. anyway. Well, in the division. But right, you playing the outside teams. Yeah. In their house versus. Right, but the Patriots. But they'll beat play those Tampa teams. Bay. Well, ironically, they'll play Tampa Bay. Week fifteen, the Patriots went to Pittsburgh. They sure did. <laughs> okay. And lost. That, okay. This year, they're out look of at, conference look, games. Look at their well, their schedule their? throughout the years. They that's. You I haven't seen that, but the, but the teams you can't say because they were on the schedule. They were a first place team last year that they're going to be called this year. Yeah, I mean, and that's what happened. So they got scheduled with the Texans and the Texans. You know, Pittsburgh's going to be, be good. You know, Pittsburgh's going to be good. Yeah, but that ain't how they. You know, Seattle's going to be good. If Pittsburgh don't win their division, yeah. then Pittsburgh's not the first place team. If Pittsburgh was seven and nine a year before, then they don't. They won't be on your you're schedule. Going to play Baltimore? No. Yeah, exactly. First place team when you get a first place. 
schedule doesn't mean you play the first place team. No, it means you, means play, you play teams the, with the best you play, records no, you from play the previous last year. Last place teams, you have an easy no, schedule. You no, you, you don't. It's the yeah. opposite. you get a you get no, a harder no, schedule. It's the opposite it's in the NFL. Opposite. In when NFL, it's the opposite. It goes. The you get a harder the schedule. Last place team is supposed to have the easiest the schedule. Easiest schedule. Right, based off the people's that's records why from the, the year before. That's why the Texans had such an easy schedule this year. Yeah. And then when you have the division with the easy last place schedule that we had. You come out with four wins and a pretender. <laughs> and, I mean, four <laughs> losses and a pretender as Gamal. See, I mean, see, 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 and this is what makes the Patriots but that, yes, so great. Yes, because it's supposed to be parity. That is supposed to allow yes. everybody to be cold, and Every, they still yeah. have dominated their division. Everything well, about the NFL is to prevent the Patriots. what the Patriots right, have been doing. Right, right, right. And, and wait, because see, you Draft say picks, it, schedule, all You're saying that. dominate the division. They do love their Patriots. I don't know. I don't know if it's so much them dominating their division, or if the division is just trash. It's trash. They don't. The division is bad. They don't. We're talking about the Bills, mm-hmm. the Dolphins. They're in a division. The Jets. They're in a division that six has wins. no. <laughs> they they six and zero almost automatically. They're in yeah, a they division are. that doesn't have a franchise quarterback in on either squad. Well, the Again, Jets, that's the not Jets their think fault. they might Josh have Adam one. Man, man. I'm gonna say the Buffalo think they might have one now. The Jets yeah. name a USC the quarterback that was franchise. Sam Donald is out. A there. USC quarterback? Yes. Carson Palmer. Carson was oh, great. No. That's yes, a he horrible, was. That's a Carson Palmer defense. was great Carson for a few years. He was just in Cincinnati. Two contracts. He was in Cincinnati. Uh, what did you say? He was just in Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. Two contracts. And he was, it, it, and so then he threatens to retire, and everybody was like, "So?" I know, I know. But, <laughs> then but he, wait, and then he then went then to, go to Oakland and stinks up the place. But no. then you get Andrew Dalton, and you're like, "Please Bad bring back Carson." <laughs> but, and then he went to, and then he went to Arizona. Right, and, mm-hmm. he, and, and he now granted he put up some numbers in Arizona, but he didn't win anything. No, he, he made yeah. it to the championship game, but win. did he mm-hmm. on the one Yeah, you remember they made it to championship game. Cam Newton beat him. Did he make it? Uh, yeah, he was a quarterback. Was he? Yeah. I mean, I, Cam I, Newton beat him. I thought it was like somebody like. Nah, he was a quarterback. Like, who is. Who <laughs> you thought it was Kurt Warner? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's was, 08, bro. That's no. 08. Who was, he got hurt, and then his his successor came from USC and played right I think behind. that was the following year. Right no, you talking about Matt Liner? Yes. No, Matt Liner had been out of the league. Are you, I was, I was how many games did Matt Liner start? <laughs> Like man, nah, that was four. a trash USC quarterback. Like four overrated. If if, oh if I've never God. seen what they, what anything everybody the talks about in Vince college Vince. history. No, is that what they said? The what best team ever in college? They were one of them. Yes, they were. Until but, they but took that in. The thing that kills me is everybody talks about how big of a bust Vince was. But would you Matt consider? Liner, wait, wait, stop. Would you consider Vince a bust? Though? No, not he did not win all. Rookie of the Year. He, he did. did make two Pro Bowls. Yeah, he, he did. He did make he did. the playoffs. He did. If he wasn't a bust, he had a disappointing NFL Very career. Very disappointing. I'm gonna tell you this though. He's not nearly as big a bust as Matt Liner was. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest with you. I know, right? Vince Matt Liner's Ryan to, Leaf level and, bust. And, I, and I'm not just saying this because he the homie. Uh, Vince or. wasn't a bust to me because you got to consider who was his coach. Well, yeah, I his mean, his coach by far was the yeah. most overrated coach in the history. His of coach the NFL. damn near killed Jerry Goff off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> his like, coach didn't like. He, his coach like didn't how like mediocre Vince. has Jeff Fisher always been? If Jeff Fisher would still be in St. Louis, or, or, I mean, but, oh, but here's my thing: L.A. No, they'd be theirs. Yes, they'd be one in thirteen. Remember how bad one Jerry Goff was? Yes. That's everybody, what I'm everybody called Jared Goff a bust that's after his what first I'm year. And now look at him. He is not, not a, he is not a quarterback Bowl. coach yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah. But he had a second chance. And he hates he quarterbacks. Did not take full advantage no, of that. He, he didn't have chance. a no, fair second no, chance. No, what you mean no. he didn't have a fair Jeff second chance? He's not going to get a starting second chance. Jeff Fisher hates. Nobody does that. Jeff Fisher hates players that beat USC. Is that what it was? You think that's what it is? Yes, it is. No, no, no. Because he didn't want to draft him. No, he, he didn't want to draft him that because, would be because crazy. he wanted to keep Steve McNair. Yeah, they, oh, I mean, well, Steve. Okay. Uh, another he to have a quarterback. Right. I mean, Steve never played USC though. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I quite never quite committed. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. I'm so they got Jeff the next best thing. No, no, no. And then he was like, "I'm sure Vince was like." Yeah, that's why we busted y'all ass. You well, know what I hope saying? Vince didn't say that. Uh, yeah, then it <laughs> would explain like, a lot. You know what? I'm about to make your career hell. No, I'm gonna tell you what Jeff Fisher's deal is. Jeff Fisher's got that he was a he's got that Buddy Ryan syndrome. Oh, that's you know, good. where they hate quarterbacks, and that was the problem. And that's the most important uh, position on your squad. Yeah, and Vince did get that second chance. What was I mean, Fisher's position? Would you say it was a fair second chance, though? I mean, he had a bunch of chances. Are we I talking about? Why would Andy Reid not be fair? When is he? Well, he played with Philly. He played with Buffalo. 
But man. Andy Reid and Michael Green Vick, Bay. though. He went to Green he Bay. He tried Cleveland. Everything is set up for you there. They just brought in the other dude who was a, a knucklehead and has repented. Who? He Who's just that? started Michael Vick. Right. Yeah. And then now they're going to come in. You're a knucklehead and you have repented. And now you can learn underneath him. And once Michael Vick goes off and does something crazy, you slide on in. Yeah, but Michael Vick, uh, if, you, if you go back to that, Michael Vick performed. Yeah. And then those few games Michael Vick was out and Vince started, they did were not, bad. He they did were not bad. perform. I mean, Vince, bad, Vince was not a very good studier of the yeah, <laughs> I think that was <laughs> of the professional yeah. game. No, I, look, I, I can attest to that 100%. Yeah. I know that man. So, okay. yes, I can attest to that He was 100%. not a very good studier of the professional. He still, came in and was like, yo, I'll throw you important. the ball. You get open. Still. I, still, I still want you to come holler at us, though, V. Oh, yeah, yeah please. Uh, shout out to Vince Young, though. <laughs> <laughs> Congratu- congratulations, bro, on Absolutely. your Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Congratulations man. on yeah. your college oh, Hall of yeah. Fame, man. Still Absolutely. five to ten times the better quarterback oh, than Matt Liner. Oh, man. He's actually so? Man, Matt Liner was a Ryan Leaf level. No, on the real – Vince Young is one of the greatest. That far. He's one of the what greatest quarter. He's one of the greatest college games? players ever. <laughs> oh, cry. oh, high yeah, school. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm thinking absolutely. about it, man. I wouldn't go that far. You said Ryan Leaf. Yes. For Matt Liner. How many games did Matt Liner start? In the pros? Yeah. 12. I don't know, maybe 20. No Except more than 20. Uh, uh, maybe no he more surely more. didn't start enough in Texas. Matt, Matt Liner. Not that good. Matt Liner had a noodle arm. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and a Kool-Aid heart. Oh, he was heart. definitely overrated. <laughs> I, I'm with you 100% on that. I don't and a know Kool-Aid, if he, Kool-Aid heart. Shout I don't know if he was Ryan friend. Leaf, but he was definitely overrated. Hey, at least 100%. Ryan Leaf had heart. I mean, at least Ryan Leaf had drugs. Like, uh, <laughs> at least you could blame drugs on Ryan Leaf. Matt Liner ain't no excuse, excuse Matt. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> you are, <laughs> you're listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to check us out. Be sure to follow us. Excuse me. Excuse, be sure to follow us on, on, on social media. Uh, the Garage Apartment on Twitter, Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And we are also on SoundCloud. Yeah, if you missed the episode, check us yeah, out. Yeah, so anything you missed, yeah. if, you, if you can't stream us live, if you can't uh, uh, listen to us live, man. Check us out. We got all our stuff on there for you. We trying to make sure we, 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 we out here. So hey, follow us. We follow back, man. Patrick Absolutely. We follow, follow back. Yeah, we follow back. We talk to you, too. We do. Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely do that. We'll so talk now, about you, too. You coming and saying something stupid. Now, right. Oh, yeah, you, about to, you got to come <laughs> with it. So now, gentlemen, talking about talking stupid. You want to speak of disappointments? Segway. I was saying, nice now, segway. talking about talking stupid. <laughs> On God, Nim. Last God night. Nim. There we go. <laughs> Last night, we had the Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao bout. And shout out to those who listened and stuck and stuck it out with us and hung out late and en- enjoyed the, sh- the show the same way we enjoyed bringing it to you. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That was a – this dude has a rocket for an arm. I'm sorry, yeah, Broner, but this – this guy here is going to be so amazing in the pros for the next 15 years, bro. Well, I mean, Tyreek Hill, too, to be like 5'9", yeah, is, is, is also incredible. Look at this like, catch. Look how he just runs yeah, away from he people. Look, he's by from. himself. Yeah. Why do you have a safety on this guy? He actually <laughs> underthrew him. <laughs> yes. And this guy, that amazing, I'm sorry, we can get back to uh, Bronner, but that, that play last in uh, week nine where he caught the, jumped up, caught the ball, and then yeah. – Ran past everybody? Yeah. yeah. Did you see how he just took off? <laughs> <laughs> and dude was like, oh, he was right here. He was just in the air. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, Tyreek right. Hill, I think, is gonna, I, mean, I think he's going to be the uh, next look at this. Oh, 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 no step but in that. But I think he's the next Hunt, He would have caught it. He would have. <laughs> <laughs> or he would have pushed somebody else nah, into see, that no, <laughs> to catch stop it. it. All right, but back to Bronner. He kicked that man, lightly kicked it. Ain't so nothing hard. <laughs> not too hard, though. We yeah. will not. We will not make light <laughs> of Kareem Hunt's situation. I mean, we're not so making now, light of it, but, you know. Adrian Broner. It is what happened. Oh, boy. For those of you who didn't know, Adrian Broner fought About Manny Pacquiao bullsh. last night for the, the what, 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 the welterweight title, but which, 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 which WBO? Know. Which, I think which, it was which WBO. federation was this? I think it was WBO. There's so WBO? many belts, I have no idea. Yeah, anyway, they fought each other for the welterweight title. In Las Vegas. Vegas. At it was MGM a fight Grand. that Manny MGM. Pacquiao, many would say, dominated. Shanice yeah. did the uh, 
<laughs> national anthem. Yeah, if anybody was betting on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, since you brought that up, I love your smile. It was po. <laughs> it was po. It, it was pose last night. Is it me or do they try to play these uh these games where you know they know how how uh passionate people of a certain what Hugh. do y'all call it ethnicity Hugh. 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 Uh, a feel about the national anthem right now. Do you notice that they pick a lot of black performers to sing the national anthem? Is that their... Well, I uh, think they went way down the list. Yeah. To go find Shanice? There had to be 600 people ahead of Shanice Woods. <laughs> well, th- you know, they brought her back up because, you know, Chris Brown has a new record with, with that oh, sample. Because I was and like, so what I about think, Tracy Spencer? I think they might have heard that I record. Did hear Tra- that. You oh, tender God. kisser. Tracy yeah, Spencer has been doing a lot of work on background vocals. I if y'all ever it? read, I don't know how many of y'all still buy albums. I still buy albums. Hamad. I, nobody. I know, I know Hamad buy albums. Nobody buy albums. And I know my boy read them credits. Shout yeah. out to Hamad. Unless you're buying vinyl. I was going to say, you, you buy, buy vinyl? Yeah. Is that what you, you have a I record still player? Buy, I still buy CD. Why? Ooh. You have a record so, player? Where are those at? Well, because my vehicle is still in the early 2000s. Your and vi- so I have a CD player in my vehicle. Your vehicle is I have a held together by a rubber band. And, and I do not have tape. I do not have an auxiliary. Uh, uh, oh, that's a simple. <laughs> oh, part. you don't have an aux cord. Yeah, so oh, I, have tape to, tape I have tape to listen tape. to CD to go with his yeah. non-window. Yeah. And that's it's a not right, man. <laughs> Hey, natural air is the best air ever, man. <laughs> Go fund me page is still up, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, fucking militant. I'm the fucking, not, I'm not the fucking voyage ride yeah. needs help. I'm not studying what y'all are talking about. Every day. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I said all that to say Tracy Spencer has been working. Good. She does background vocals for many of your favorite artists. Shout out to Tracy Spencer. Yeah. Tracy's a tender kiss. Yeah. That hey. was like my favorite Family Matters episode. Oh, no. You remember that? Shanice uh-huh. was on Family Matters, Matters too. She was. Family she was. She was. Well, Family that. Matters just to put it down. Yeah, New Edition was on there. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah, but they, I mean, I stopped when Steve started getting the machine and turning into Bruce Lee and all that weirdo stuff. Uh, I couldn't Stephon? deal with that. Stephon. I stopped, yeah. that. I stopped when I started seeing, I started seeing Steve Urkel's scrotum hanging outside of his. <laughs> <laughs> Homeboy had veins and muscles in that little shirt. I was like, I, think, I, I was like, like Steve, slap uh, the bully. Yeah, I think I'm done with <laughs> this, like, man. Steve, slap the bully. You swole as hell. <laughs> what you worried about him? I you picking him? I stopped when Waldo still didn't graduate, yo. Oh, yeah, I yeah. know. Because <laughs> wasn't Waldo and Eddie? <laughs> exactly. How was he still at the schoolhouse? <laughs> Don't yeah, be hating on Wild. That boy was trying. Those, uh, those, those were those R. Kelly written uh, episodes. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop Waldo, it. Waldo, Waldo, Waldo. Waldo was trying. He was trying. He was trying something. Anyway, back yeah. to Adrian Broder. So <laughs> another clown. <laughs> Yet another clown. Yeah. So they were fighting for the... I think it was WBO. Welterweight, the welterweight title. Uh-huh. Yeah. Many people who watched the fight pretty much have the same consensus, came to the consensus that Manny Pacquiao dominated the fight. We yeah. watched the fight. I, I, is it safe to say we all agree that Manny Pacquiao dominated the uh, fight? It was, it was uh, a I don't know. Very I, much so. I guess. If it was what are you calling dominate? What do you mean? He threw a lot of punches. Yeah. Ten rounds to two? I call I it a domination. Like, he threw so more like, punches. The question is, what do you call dominate? I mean, what do you call he dominate? He was more effective in the fight. That's what would be my thing. I could dominate against a punching bag, I'm sure. Okay, so then there you go. That's Wow, you say right Adrian now. Broner was so, so Nothing. He was a punching bag. <laughs> he was a punching bag. I yeah, wouldn't yeah. go that far. Okay. But anyway, sounds like domination. That being he said, he he did dominate the fight. I mean, so you threw eight eight punches in the whole fight. Yeah, it like eight, you were averaging eight, eight punches, punches eight around. around. You were right, averaging eight, eight, eight punches eight around. Punches. How many times the bag swing when you punch it? <laughs> this is true. Boys to. don't hit back. Ain't that what Bruce Lee said? <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, so at the end of the bout, oh god, Adrian yeah. Broner was was was. I got under him, the man. impression, uh, passionately under the impression that he won the fight. So much so that when the bell rang, he huh. threw his hands up, Jim jumped Jim. on the ropes, and like really felt like, felt like he won that, that fight. Boy jumped on because the ropes if like you John watched his last, if you watched his last two rounds, like he was dominant. Yeah. He boxed his last two rounds as if he was up in, in the fight. fight. Yes, I know. And he was sorry. His it was trained his corner. He asked the corner man. And he even, yes, there you go. He, he even asked his round? corner he if he won round? the the round as if that one round mattered. It was the WBA. <laughs> it was the WBA. <laughs> and my boy okay. Cunningham, un, and, and, and because Champ was here, 
We also, I'm sorry, we also had. Yeah, oh, shout yeah. out to Ralph. Yeah. Shout out. Ralph Trouble. Trouble. Igbokwe. 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 Texas Middleway champion here. Man. Serving as our expert analyst. You say speak. Analyst. Excuse yeah, me. Speak analyst. nicely, man. That boy say speak nice. Speak nice. <laughs> no, actually he said speak nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So even he said, man, he can't stand when corner men lie to their boxers. Because right. Cunningham said to him, although you can tell he didn't believe it because he hesitated he when he said it. it. He did not he want, did not to, want to tell him he won that round when he knows he didn't. He even then tried to motivate him by saying, now go out there and leave no doubt mm -hmm. in this next round. Anyway, is that Tank or is that? That's who? Lofton, right? That's Kenny Lofton. Why he look like Tank? Uh, Tank who? The singer. He look like Tank the singer, nigga? He don't look like Tank. Where Kenny Lofton from? I don't know, but he went to the University of Arizona. Bear down, Cats. And he is a former Astro. Please what didn't he play with Sean and Marlon Williams? Remember that episode of Wayans Brothers? <laughs> 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 anyway, he caught the ball over hey, Marlon. <laughs> and Kenny Lofton Marlon was supposed to Mind get that. Mind you, that was my favorite squad of all time. What's that? That Cleveland Indians squad. Was it really? Albert what? Bell. With Albert, Albert Bell, win? my guy? No, your guy was Carlos Baerga. No, he was not. <laughs> Albert <laughs> Bell was my guy. I don't care nothing about Carlos Baerga. <laughs> Whatever, that was your Carlos dude. Carlos Baerga was on the squad. That was your dude, boy. That's when, Tim, that's when Tim, Jim Tomei was only... Maybe two hundred pounds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was before the. Uh, that was before, before, the, he, met yeah. before, before he, he met Kaseko. Before he hit the gym. Before he started eating bacon, as Brady as Brady would say. Yeah. Uh, Brady Anderson. Brady Anderson. Uh -huh. Before he started eating bacon. Right. Right. Uh, I met Jim Tomei once, and I was I was like I was like I was like. Who he played defensive end for? <laughs> that joke was <laughs> that joke was huge. What year was this? Do you know? Oh God, I don't know. I was it's a before young man. the juice. Oh no, it was definitely oh. post juice. <laughs> it was post. Oh, juice. it was definitely oh. post juice. This man's. Like now then, he wasn't looking like he looked like refrigerator Perry by post nah, juice. Nah, the homeboy looked like. Well, no, during juice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anno juice, the year of our juice. The year of our juice. <laughs> the juice was going down at that point. But anyway, yeah, I digress. I but yeah, I okay, so we're talking about AB, right? I, I didn't forgot where I was going. AB. So <laughs> AB. I, I, you were talking about how he legitimately thought he won, he the, won fight. the fight. Yeah. And how he came out there and was quite indignant about the fact Very that indignant. nobody else yeah. He's like, thought no. he won the fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all said ignorant wrong. No, not <laughs> ignorant. Not ignorant. <laughs> we say we miss we we mis we mispronounce You mispronounce ignorant. Uh, he was, that's yeah, he was fighting, fighting, for fighting for the hood. He was fighting for the hood, yo. Yeah. But yeah. see, that's his problem. Yeah. He, he was he, he's too small minded. Yeah. Don't I'm fight glad for you the said hood. that too. I'm Don't glad fight for the hood. Fight too. for the city. Not even no, no, no. You can fight for the hood. Nah, sometimes these not dudes not need representation. Nah. But fight for the city, man. But that, I'm glad you brought that up. Because you know, now we're going into this idea of hood being ignorant. Well, the hood's been lied to Keeping too many Keeping things times. hood. Don't why you got to be ignorant to keep things hood? Exactly. Because you a lot of people. Be, come you can on, be man, respectable. A lot you of can be respectable. Like, I watched his, 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 his pre-fight oh, press Wait, conference. Oh, man. Wait, dude, say, he don't, he, don't, yeah, with, you. I don't he don't with, with you. you. Yeah, I'm talking about you, B-A-N. Like, dang. come on, dude. Like. Gang, gang. That was the Al Bernstein. Yeah, that. I was so uncomfortable yeah, watching guy, that yeah. to the point where I was like, right, hood, I'm not watching this. The hood's yeah. trending, you know. Because even Floyd didn't trend. do that. Like when Floyd went off on Larry Merchant, he had every reason to. <laughs> right. And, and and he still didn't go like that. Right. Well, he did. He said F him. You don't know S about boxing. But that's but different though. He ain't, <laughs> come on, man. He ain't using. He had good reason to go off on him. Though. Racial right epithets. Post -fight. Yeah, I know. The, come, you know, just. Yeah, the can, man. Anybody can. Uh, Africans, uh, Mexicans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember AB went he went that route so I, yeah. I don't know um, people love him though like is this the end or are people gonna still this be buying be AB fights like, I think he's done you, guess I what? think he knows he's done too you don't w nobody loves a mediocre fighter like that I guess unless he was bet you greater. I'm not about to buy another but we've AB known this fight. for I mean we knew his last fight he showed he definitely have been he's been trending down 
dipped. He's definitely been trending down. Like you said, he's three, w- three and one in his yeah, last seven yeah, fights. Yeah. Although he made it very clear that he would be seven and zero oh versus Jim Gray. And Jim <laughs> Gray made it. Jim Gray made it very clear that that doesn't that mean much of anything. Actually, hey, I'm putting my money on. Uh, if it, you if put if your goes, money on Jim Gray. Hey, <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it goes after six, I'm putting my money on Jim Gray. That boy did not throw any punches. That's sad that you think I'm gonna go past six rounds. If it goes, if it goes past six, I put it, I put it on Jim. I would say all Jim got to do is keep pressuring him. Yeah. Just keep pressuring. He's not gonna throw. He's not gonna throw his hands. He's You're not right. gonna throw. Because Adrian Broner did not throw his hands. Yes. And I told y'all oh. that fight. I was like, this fight eerily reminds me of when you he did. was you in San You called that first yeah. ten yeah, seconds sure in the first round. You, you said, sure man, did. this looks like the Madonna fight. Yeah. yeah. Only difference in that was Madonna knocked that boy out. Yeah. yeah I mean, it could have happened. Yeah. He's got a. Manny's not. Manny you know, doesn't what have he used power like either. that. Yeah, he's off the sauce too. He doesn't. But he's he not what he used to be. Y'all thought Manny was on the sauce. Yes. Y'all believe Manny was yes. on the sauce. Yes. I, I don't know. When all he when he had that knockout streak, he was on it. Right. When he was knocking out people way bigger than him, just yeah. knocking yeah. them out. He yeah. Was well, see, it. everybody said that you know he had to be on it because every time he he started off well at one fifteen mm-hmm. and he took his power with him everywhere he went. Right. Right. So right. yeah. Or could it be just simply there. the dudes he was fighting was so big and so dehydrated from cutting weight, <laughs> from cutting weight to meet that him. it was easy for him to just knock him out? Nah, I don't think I don't think uh, Ricky Hatton was that dehydrated. Ricky Hatton just was trash, though. Well, cocaine does dehydrate you, I guess, <laughs> from what I hear. But so. hey, that Why didn't you stop. Why you always gotta reference people drug that uses, is, but man? That, did, that <laughs> mean, uh, hey, that didn't <laughs> stop Bones Jones from knocking somebody out though. No, this is didn't. true. That boy <laughs> said he did a week. That boy. <laughs> So I was say I did a week on cocaine yeah. and still beat you. And still <laughs> beat you. So, so you know, yeah, hey. Sure did. Hey, hey, how small do you have to be if you down your corner and somebody, somebody you says that, that to you? Like, I dude, know. I was high when I showed up and beat yeah. you. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. You know, you're you an Olympic wrestler. There, there, and you, yeah, you're an <laughs> Olympic. <laughs> There's a lot of Captain people. Captain of the Olympic yeah. 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 Doc, Doc, uh, Doc Gooden threw a no hitter on crack. This oh. is true. Yeah. This is Daryl Strawberry hit, I'm sure, plenty of home runs on crack. Hey. And then, of course, there's Lawrence Taylor. Broke oh somebody's. Oh, my God. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Broke somebody's career on crack at halftime. Who half was that that would go outside? Don't the forget about the Miami Dolphins. The, the, the 73 fire. Miami Dolphins. Wasn't all them on crack, uh, too? Oh, man. on Coke? Man, hey. Uh, well, I know Mercury Morris was Rick Ross. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he was pushing right that right. coke. Oh my <laughs> he god! He got the trunk huh? full. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if he was doing it, hey, but you know the '86 oh, Mets team was. Y'all there. listening live? That's right. To the garage apartment on 92kelz.com. Oh, yep, dot com. Every Sunday, six to seven. Hey, so you want to do a couple of minutes on Greg Hardy? Sure, we can do a couple of minutes. Talking on about Greg other Hardy. people who are done. Now he's got. I, I don't mean, think Greg Hardy's done at all. Done what? He's not at all. He, and that was his debut. Out that, Wait, right? Have they got, dropped him yet? No. He got this they one. In fact, Dana White even, Dana White even. Uh, I think Dana needs that. He even said he's he's going to fight again for sure. Dana s- sends mixed messages, though. I, I think he, he needs said it. this very clearly. He's going to fight again for sure. I think he said why. because he has proven to him that he can fight. So he's going to fight again. But, uh, who was I the big black brother, the one who, uh, I think, didn't he almost beat Fedor or something? But he, what was his name? I forget him, but he. He got domestic violence, and he was immediately kicked out of the UFC. I don't remember. I forget the I remember name. that. Oh, so he I remember that money. Out though. What was the illegal kick? Yes. Yeah. So now let me bring everybody you up better to speed. Knock Those of you out. who don't know. <laughs> you so now, of course, you know floor. Greg Hardy, the former defensive tackle for the they Carolina Panthers and Dallas Cowboys, mm-hmm. who was eventually kind of phased out of the league. He wasn't for officially kicked out. But yeah. for, 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 for domestic violence. violence. For domestic violence. Repeated domestic Repeated violence. Repeated domestic violence. Uh, he has Never then convicted. become he has then become a MMA fighter. Yeah. A heavyweight. He indeed. went the long route, too. He and he went the, the long route. He literally that, went yeah. up. Yeah, he went through the ultimate fighter and, and, and UFC fight pass mm-hmm. and all of that. So he worked his way up. And why said it's a rookie mistake? <laughs> to the point where he has even he was even given the co main event on last night's card uh in his debut in the UFC. His debut in the UFC was a co main event. He goes out and in the second round, after fighting pretty well, he knee 
he's his opponent illegally. What what makes it an illegal uh, uh, blow or strike? The people don't say strike anymore, do they? Yeah, it, it works. Joe Rogan does. <laughs> Uh, in the UFC, if your opponent has his hands down, uh, any part of him, well, he has to have his hands down. Well, no, if, if, if any he's part grounded. of him, if he's a grounded right, opponent. what they consider grounded, meaning mm-hmm. if his hands are on the mat right. or his knees anything are on the mat. Anything other than just his two feet. Right, anything, exactly, thank you. Anything other than his two feet are on the mat, and you strike them with a knee. Now, you are to allowed to punch to them. The, no, 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 to the head, because you, you can kick to the body. Yeah, you, you can, you can to knee the to the body. body. Right, thank uh-huh. you. And any blow to the head. Right. With your lower extremities, you right. can punch them. You Let me make that clear. Because Harry Sedudo did want. the exact same thing <laughs> to TJ Dillashaw, but he was punching the crap out of him. Yeah, well, anyway, Apparently, you can punch uh, them in Hardy the head. punched them as well, and that's what really knocked him out. Cause yeah, but it was the knee yeah, that the got knee him got disqualified. Him so he ends up kneeing him with an illegal knee, mm-hmm. and thus uh, was and thus was disqualified. But uh, I'm reading here that Dana White called that a rookie mistake. Okay. And said he has a chin and he can fight. I'm telling you, I listened to the He pressure. knows what he has to do, and we'll see him again. I told you, he said he will fight again. Well, Dana's trying to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He okay. Said he will well, fight Well, Dana's trying again. to get that money. So They had Stephen A. out there. Come yeah. On, they had dogs out. Okay, well that's good. Well, and and then uh, and then like I said last week about T.J. Dillashaw and how he looked at the press conference, he, he got knocked out. Uh, that was a quick thing. stoppage, though. That was an extremely quick stop. I feel like I gotta bring everybody up to speed. So those of you who didn't know about the <laughs> T.J. Dillashaw fight, <laughs> I know. T.J. Dillashaw and Henry, help Cejudo. me say his name. Cejudo. Cejudo. Say it again for me. Cejudo. Cejudo. Uh, okay. Henry Cejudo <laughs> fought. Touchdown. Not for the bantamweight title, but for the what title did they fight for? Uh, the flyweight. It, it's flyweight. One thirty, one twenty-five, right? right? right. right. Well, one twenty-five division. I don't know what division that is. I just know what. I, 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 know, I, I, think I know how much they had to wait. Because so he was a bantamweight. They fought flyweight. for the one twenty-five mm-hmm. title, right? And there's a big controversy because that's They're a that's a division that Dana White is talking about phasing out of the UFC. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so T.J. Dillashaw, who is the bigger fighter, T.J. had to cut a l- a massive amount of weight in order to uh, make the fight, and as a result, he, uh, I guess you could say, was dominated in the first few seconds. It was a very mm-hmm. short stoppage. Lost in thirty-two Henry C- seconds. Henry Henry Seduto. Did y'all say that right? Seduto. <laughs> So who though? You were about to call him uh, former uh, mayor of San Antonio, Henry Cisneros. (laughs) (laughs) Abe Sandro. Henry Sanudo. 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 H. Former HISD. uh, Jumped on him. Jumped on him rather early, and 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 appeared to kind of rock him a little bit, but. TJ was somewhat defending himself and trying to get back to his feet, and the referee, yeah, well, in my opinion. Was a very quick stoppage. Yeah. And and, 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 and and there was a big controversy about that. And TJ Dillashaw made it very clear that he was upset about it, and demand it is demanding a rematch at 125. Yeah, you get a lot of those in MMA though. A lot of premature stoppages to me. So it's people Cejudo talk about boxing. 125. I mean, you should though. In MMA, you kind of gotta have because if you don't get in there early enough, somebody can. They really can, but it's a title hurt. fight. Like you gotta. I let agree with that too. I agree. You, you you gotta let him fight through a title fight, man. You so you say he wants like to go 125. So he's saying he wants Tom to step Brady up. Tom blowing boogers out his nose. Who is this you talking about? TJ. Yeah. Like no, what he's if saying they fight he wants. He want, they fought at 125. Okay. So he he's saying he wants to rematch at, at 125. Because uh, Sanudo, Sahudo, Sahudo yes. said he'll give him a rematch, but it has to be at one thirty-five. Ah, uh, so he's the bigger guy. And make yeah, him and make TJ Dillashaw, make TJ Dillashaw put his bantamweight title on the line. Uh, and TJ Dillashaw saying he doesn't want to do that. He wants to fight at one twenty-five and I take that belt. Yeah, yeah. He wants to be the champ, champ. Yeah, 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 yeah. The champ, champ. The champ, champ. Everybody, everybody want to be champ, champ now. <laughs> everybody want to be champ, champ. Everybody want to be champ, champ. Yeah. Man, they got to get that double check, man. Oh, yeah, because they ain't making no whole lot of money. They don't make money unless they champs. Nah, if you are not don't. a champion, you don't make the money. Yeah. And, so I mean, and even those guys, I mean, they probably got main event money. But so, now, you probably got two legit champ champs, and then you got a fake champ champ in Daniel Cormier. Uh, what well, you call him? Well, a fake he's no champ longer champ champ either. Yeah, because he, 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 he gave up the light heavyweight, right? 
Yeah, he gave up the high. Or did he give up the heavyweight? No, he gave up the light heavyweight. Okay. Belt, which was rightfully Jones's. It, it was. It was. It was. They're trying to set up a. Who's who's Cormier fighting next? Are they trying to set it's up supposed the Brock to be Brock Lesnar? But yeah. they got a way for him to come off his roids. He can't yeah, fight. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they they do. He's he's still got which a is absurd because it's like you don't want to fight Jones because supposedly he's on roids. But, you but you're know willing. That to, you, you know, know that Brock Lesnar is, and you're willing to fight Brock Lesnar. This That's man. what I'm saying. Because you know you can see, beat Brock Lesnar. I tell Lesnar. people all the time, y'all got to see through that man. Daniel Cormier knows he, he can't beat John Jones. Beat yeah, John he Jones. Yeah, he's been in there. He knows he can't, but he knows he can beat Brock. And he knows he can beat Brock, he can but beat he Brock knows easy. he cannot beat John Jones. Yeah. So he always, yeah. I, 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 I called it after we watched that. Fr- well, we didn't watch. Did we watch that first fight? What's that? The last Jones fight. The last Jones and Cormier. I, uh, who did I watch? I, watch? I, I mean, no, no, not Cormier. Uh, Goo, 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 Goo. What's his name? Goo, Goo, Gaga. Yeah. Gustafsson. There oh, you go. Gustafsson. Yeah, Gustafsson. Yeah, December 29th. Yeah, where did we watch that? I watched that. Probably at my house. Yeah, probably Yeah, I don't so. think we were here, were we? Anyway, no, we, no I, we weren't here. No. Anyway, see, hey, welcome to the garage apartment. Exactly. <laughs> so now, <laughs> we really do hang out. We homies for real. <laughs> I mean, like, we hang out. Same. Anyway, so. Uh, we bringing it to y'all. After Bones Jones won his fight back, I said, Daniel Cormier is going to stall. He is not going to fight him again because he knows he cannot beat him. So now he happily gave up his belt, which Bones Jones kept saying, well, you know, any real champion wouldn't just give up his belt, but he knows it's my belt, so he just happily gave up his belt. And so everybody kept asking, well, won't you go up to the heavyweight division? Yeah, that's something Jones won't do. And Jones said, I don't want to, I don't have to go up to the heavyweight division. Everybody knows that I'm better than Daniel Cormier. Me taking things from Daniel Cormier is not what my <laughs> purpose in life. He's like, I just wanted to get back what was rightfully mine. Right. Like, nobody ever took it from me. I wanted it back. Right. Which, I mean, is fair. Which Jones could have been champ champ years ago. Years ago, because like he, he absolutely gotten, dominated yeah, the lightweight, lightweight division. To where it was almost nobody for the him The light fight. heavyweight division, absolutely. To, it literally was no one else to really, fight. Really, Daniel Cormier coming up helped him out, because that was his only challenger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. And then when he dominated him so much all those times, it's just like, okay, well, you're so much better than this dude. At least go try to fight somebody that weighed 270. <laughs> and, and, and now you, br- you, brought me, you brought me back to another question because, you know, Cormier loves to make it very clear. He, you, know, you know how you try to boast what you are? Because mm-hmm. you can tell it's, it's insecurities that he wants folks to know. He, in his mind, he wants folks to think he's greater than he really is because everybody always knows you're not better than Bones Jones. Right. You're not the best champion of all time. But Cormier keeps referring to himself as that, and he passes no opportunities to say something demeaning about Yeah. Bones Jones. So it's ugly in person. Just because yeah, he you kinda boasted goes at him too. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, because you boasted out loud, and 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 c- because some people still say, yeah, although he couldn't beat Jones, he still could be considered one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not his fault. John Bones Jones is there. Like th- th- that's the thing. He just happened to come along at a. But you bad can't. Time. You can't be the greatest of all time when you can't beat. No, 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 no. You're either. not. You're not. You're one of the greatest of this generation, and you may be one of the greatest. Carl Malone, anyone? Yeah. Hell, Clyde Drexler during the time of Jordan. I, I mean, mean Carl Malone <laughs> might be the best power forward of all time. You know? Yep, but he's, he's good. Over no. Timmy D? Stop it. Over Tim uh, Duncan yeah. is a center no, who Tim played Duncan, no, who played power forward. No, yeah, because Tim Duncan forward. only played power forward. Oh, well, hold on. He For did his play a lot. First his first couple years with, uh, half with David Robinson. Robinson. <laughs> 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 with David Robinson. Tim Duncan is a center, and man. Tim Duncan is a power forward. Y'all consider Tim Duncan a power forward? Yes. Yes. Really? I do. Yes. You do? Yes. I do. Why? Tim Duncan is a center. Because he played power forward. Mm, play, if you he played power forward Allen Iverson played point guard, but he wasn't a point guard. He played power forward originally. <sighs> he wasn't a point. He exactly. went to center for a little bit, and then he ended his career as power forward again. He power, he power, it, when, you're, when you're voting for all-stars, he wasn't an under center. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to put it. I just damn. But like, he wasn't like – he wasn't – he wasn't Clint Capella. I mean, uh, nobody. Of course, he wasn't Clint Capella, but he was. A, he just seemed like a power force to me. 
But it don't matter because you didn't put him in like center and then he's still top five. In hey, that. speaking of. Right, he's top five in either, either position. Speaking of basketball, it was. We got it was 70 great, seconds. Okay. It was, it, was a, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was a great slate of games uh, oh, yesterday. Shout out James Harden. Oh, MVP. That, was, out, that dude there. At, MVP. The Rockets really showed some. some Testicular fortitude. He plays with nice you know, defense. Yeah. I like the, the stretch, way you man. stated that. Yes, and we're going to have did. to leave it there. Uh, <laughs> man. I would have said nice. Hey, happy MLK to everybody. Absolutely. Hey, man, see? Hey, yeah. Hey, y'all, y'all, Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all know the reason for this, for this day tomorrow. The y'all reason know. for the season? The reason for the hey, season? Hey, check us out. We, we'll be at the parade. Oh, yeah. Look for it. Bundle up, please. It's Those of you cold. who are listening worldwide, just imagine you're at the parade. Anyway, exactly. so uh, this yeah. is the garage apartment, man. We are here I might each be there. and every. You're going to be there. I, I don't know. You're going to be there. Anyway, you are listening to the garage apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe SoundCloud. to our YouTube channel and SoundCloud. Yes, yes sir. Oh. Y'all have a wonderful week, man. We'll holler at you. Holla. Biggie.